With the Maxi Yacht Rolex Cup now underway in Porto Cervo, we're starting to get our first taste of what's new at this year's regatta. Perhaps the most notable change is the rebranding of one of the most exciting maxi fleets to have graced this regatta over the years. These are the Thoroughbred Racers. The Mini Maxi Racing Class has now become the new Maxi 72s, a new class with a new sense of independence. The reason for the name change is, is mainly to, uh, yeah, to identify ourselves as a class and, and to make us more accessible for the general public. Now we are a pure racer class. You will see all the boats optimized towards the maximum rating limit, so they're very, very equal in speed, which gives straight away better racing, better photos and more enthusiasm after the race. Exciting times then for the Maxi 72s, and it's not just the class name that has changed, so has the ownership of two of the key boats. And this has meant that this year's World Championship regatta is possibly more open than ever before. Nicholas Zenstrom's 2014 racer RAN5 has been rebranded Proteus and is now sailed by George Sakalaris. And Andre Soriano's boat Allegre, last year's winner, is the new Keolila R. New owner Alex Shira will be looking to repeat that performance in 2015. This opportunity uh, came up to buy the almost new, let's say, two-year-old uh, uh, winner of last year's race. So in a way we are under pressure but we are also excited because we have a very good weapon for, for this week. But the Keolila R team will have their work cut out for them. The whole premise for the 72 class is close racing, and that's exactly what they've got. It's so close, the racing we have. I mean, you know, we've, we've done three hour races finishing within a minute of each other, and that means it's very close and very good fun. American yacht Bellamente, the 2012 champions, are one of six teams who all dearly want to win the very first world championship title under the new Maxi 72 classification. And as such, they've upped the ante for this regatta. Bellamente with a new mast, uh, a new uh, fin at 5.4 meters, and a new sail program. And uh, really, probably half the team versus last year is, is new as well. So, had quite a big year of change. And, uh, you know, I think we're looking forward to getting into it. Alongside Bellamente, the home favourites Robertisma 3 and Sir Peter Ogden's British yacht Jetu will also be vying for the title. It'd be very special. I'd love to win it. You know, I've, uh, I've never won the world this World Series, so I'd love to have that opportunity. So we're going to try our best. But there is one final wild card to go into the mix. The emergence of a new team, Momo, the new kids on the block, campaigned by German owner Dieter Schoen. This is the sister ship to the old Rand 5, with the same impeccable pedigree. And as the newest and most modern yacht to join the fleet, could be the boat to watch. The new Maxi 72 class promises more exciting racing than ever before. And with the Rolex Maxi 72 World Championship now underway, this thrilling showdown is set to keep us enthralled all week here at the Maxi Yacht Rolex Cup. <laughs> <laughs>